In today's video, I will be talking about Beyonce's big Grammy Award wins, as well as discussing Khloe Kardashian's recent love life, and lastly, I will be talking about Eminem's daughter's big surprise. Hi, and welcome to my soul tribe. My name is Miriam Rose. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, set your bell on all, like, comment and share, as I really appreciate all of your support. Now let's get on with the video. Beyonce wins the most Grammy Awards by any artist ever. Beyonce hit a new milestone in her career. She's now the single most winning artist in Grammy history, knocking off a long-standing record that's been around since 1998. And her 32nd Grammy Award relatively early, and she took home the honor for Best Dance Electronic Album. She was up for some of the biggest categories that have been mentioned. However, she didn't win the Album of the Year because that went to Harry Styles. She did win the best R&B song for Cuffet. She won best traditional R&B performance for two songs from Renaissance, which put her just a win away from tying conductor George Salty. George Salty was the top dog at 31 Grammys total prior to these Grammys. He was a major winner since the 60s with opera albums, and he seemed to be a lock-in in those categories for decades. His final record Grammy was won at the 40th Grammy Awards. While Beyonce may have knocked George off the list for most wins, she had already secured her place as the most nominated artist ever, sharing the mantle with her husband Jay-Z at 88, Paul McCartney is below them at 81, and Quincy Jones at 80. Beyonce has achieved a lot in her career, as we all know, and she is about to embark on her Renaissance tours. Beyonce's world tour has got fans going on GoFundMe and asking their friends and family for help to get the tickets. Beyonce's fans are making pleas on GoFundMe and are pleading with their friends and family because they are die-hard fans and would love to secure tickets for her renaissance tour. Unfortunately, even if they raise the money, which and the tickets are very costly, it doesn't mean that they are guaranteed the ticket because demand is more than supply is available. However, fans are trying and some fans are trying harder than others. One fan wrote, this is the only life experience I care about living before I die. I will get those front row tickets either way, but this way is safer than selling my kidney on the black market. Someone else wrote, listen, I would love your financial support in sending me the Beyonce World Tour 23. I haven't missed a Beyonce concert yet, but I got bills, bills, bills. Fans have managed to raise a bit of money, but certainly not as much as the concert tickets are worth. Pre-sale in the UK has begun and fans say the supply is nowhere meeting the demand. Andre Roden Paul said on Twitter, first the O2 priority app was down. Now I have waited in an O2 priority queue on at Ticketmaster website behind 200 100,000 people and it still won't let me access Beyonce tickets. Waste of time. This is for her UK tour. Now as far as the sales going up in the US, that will happen for Beyonce's Renaissance concert next week. So be ready. Moving on to Khloe Kardashian. The Kardashians star Khloe Kardashian went on Twitter and responded to a fan who asked her if Khloe had a recent love interest or a boyfriend. Khloe was quite honest in her response. Khloe is single at the moment and is not ready to date. After her disastrous relationship with Tristan Thompson. Khloe Kardashian confirms her relationship status in a new message. The reality star is responding to a tweet from a fan inquiring about her dating life, asking who's your man currently. Khloe writes back saying, who has time for a man, lol. I have a six-month-old baby. The mom jokes that she and her four-year-old daughter, True, are also, quote, sickly codependent on one another, though she adds, I secretly love it. She then doubles down on the dating answer, saying, no, but for real, no man right now, he's in my prayers too. Coco also takes to Instagram to post a couple of cryptic quotes, including one that says, stop feeling bad for doing what's best for you, and another that reads, I spent enough time on things that never felt right, I'm listening to my soul now. Chloe's comments come as she has been comforting her ex, Tristan Thompson, following the sudden death of his mother on January 5th. E! News confirmed that Chloe, Sister Kim, and Mom Kris Jenner all attended the funeral of Andrea Thompson on January 15th. And a source told E! News that Chloe traveled with Tristan home to Toronto to comfort and help him navigate what will be a very difficult time, adding she was incredibly close to his mother. Though Chloe and Tristan split in 2021, the source notes, like Chloe and the Kardashian family always do, they will come together and support their loved ones in their most difficult time 
time of need. The 38-year-old paid tribute to Tristan's mom in a lengthy, heartfelt post on January 23rd, writing, Life can be brutally unfair at times, and this has been one of the toughest times in so many of our lives. Adding, I am lucky to have had someone that makes saying goodbye so incredibly difficult. The fan has actually received updates about Chloe's love life directly from Chloe Kardashian. I miss you guys, she wrote to her 30 million followers. I'm sorry, I've been absent recently, life has been life -ing, and I'm not here for it, but I wanted to say hi to my babies. As soon as she posted, Chloe began receiving questions about her reality, including her love life. So who is your man currently? A user asked. You know I'm going to get the deeds. And he better be treating my sister right or else. Chloe shares daughter True Thompson, four years old and a six months old son with Tristan Thompson decided to set the record straight for her followers. She replied, who has time for a man, lol. I have a six month old baby and True and I are secretly codependent on one another. Huh, I secretly love it. No, but for real, no man right now. He's in my prayers too, huh? So Chloe has been single for quite some time. She's come out of a very tumultuous relationship with Tristan Thompson and I personally believe that she was a victim in that relationship and she had her eyes wide shut for a very long time until she opened her eyes to his cheating and now she needs to recover and that takes time. She was probably going through a grieving process because she had children with Tristan so I'm sure she intended on spending her life with him so this is very unfortunate for her and she's entitled to take as long as she wants and when she's ready I'm sure she will emerge all wonderful and happy as she's always been in the past and she will be with a new man by her side. Everyone has their own way of coping and her way of coping is by staying close to her children, which is the normal thing to do. So I'd love to know your opinions about Chloe's single life in the comments down below. Now moving on to a happy ending to this video. Eminem's daughter Hayley is all grown up and now she's engaged. His little girl, who has been the focus of many of his songs over his career time, is all grown up and is prepping to walk down the aisle. Hayley Jade is 27 years old and she just recently announced that her boyfriend Evan McClintock proposed to her and she said yes. Hayley Jade has 3 million followers on Instagram and there was a picture of the happy couple popping the cork on the champagne bottle and the caption read casual weekend recap crying laughing face emoji 4th of the 2nd 2023 airing and it said I love you at Evan McClintock 11. Hayley's fiance is a private person and there isn't much known about him or his relationship with Hayley because she keeps her life private even though her father is a famous rapper. Hayley and Evan have been dating for years, since 2016 it seems. That was the first time that Hayley posted a picture of Evan. Now the good thing is that Eminem seems to be quite happy about their engagement. He acknowledged on a podcast appearance earlier in this year that his daughter was on a good path in life, having graduated college with a steady boyfriend in tow. So it sounds like he approves. Eminem has talked about his daughter Hayley many times in his rap songs as far as the 2000s. He's made clear time and again that he is very protective and that he'd do anything for his daughter. Eminem hasn't said anything publicly about Hayley's engagement as of yet. So it's happy news and I'm really glad that his little princess is getting married and is all grown up and is doing well in her life. Thank you so very much for watching. I love each and every one of you. If you'd like to expand your consciousness, please be sure to visit and subscribe to my second channel called Miriam Rose 2. Till next time, Cosmic Kiss. Bye for now.